Hi, I'm Kathleen, and I want to welcome you back to what's new on the Soundstage Network for April 1st. Before I get to that, we have a new product giveaway this month. If you live in North America, please make sure you're signed up for our newsletter by the end of this month to enter into the draw for the amazing SVS Prime Wireless Pro speaker system worth $899. Simply go to our soundstage.com portal site and look for the newsletter tab, or type soundstagen.com into your browser to take you directly to the sign-up page. Now, here's what's new for April 1st. Over on Soundstage Australia, Editor-in-Chief Edgar Kramer reviews an unusual, but not unique, loudspeaker from yet another new Australian company, Delacord Loudspeakers. Edgar Kramer also tackles the 432 Evo Eon MK3 reference music server, which features a unique function the exclusive, selectable on the fly, 432 hertz pitch playback option. Soundstage Global has show coverage from Montreal Audio Fest 2023, which was held March 24th to 26th. This incredible show was covered by Soundstagers Jason Thorpe and Doug Schneider, and you'll definitely want to check out what they saw and heard. Coming around April 10th is a feature by Tom Moon called Tom's Top Turntables. It's an article that will give you the definitive shopping list if you're looking for a turntable of the high value variety. On Soundstage Ultra, Hans Wetzel reviews the lovely Karma Elegance DB7S loudspeaker, which comes from the Netherlands. Joseph Taylor listens to and reports on the LP, Art Pepper Meets the Rhythm section, while Jeff Fritz pens an article on an amazing stereo setup consisting of Sonus Faber, Rotel Mishi, Cambridge Audio, Shinyata Research, SVS, and Siltec products. There's also a new For the Record feature by Jason Thorpe called A Muddy Waters Classic Gets a Shot of Steroids. On Soundstage Access, Dennis Berger has a review of the Atlantic Technology AT3 loudspeaker, which is accompanied by measurements of the speaker from the National Research Council's Anechoic Chamber. Once you've seen those measurements, read Dennis Berger's editorial this month titled, This Is Why We Measure. On Soundstage Hi-Fi, Roger Cano has a review of the Rotal Diamond Series DT6000 CD player DAC, while Doug Schneider waxes on about the Bowers & Wilkins 705 S3 loudspeaker in his System 1 column. Doug also informs those new to turntables about the pitfalls of getting into the world of vinyl replay. On Soundstage Simplify, Gordon Brockhouse interviews Paul Barton, founder and chief designer of PSB Speakers, about the technology behind the Alpha IQ, PSB's first ever active stereo speaker system, which Gordon reviewed last month. This compact music system delivers sound that's far weightier than your eyes would lead you to expect. Learn how Paul Barton and PSB accomplished this. Over on Soundstage Experience, our site that's mostly about the music, James Hale writes about the amazing NAD C3050LE integrated amplifier in the context of musical artist Wadada Leo Smith. Joseph Taylor adds another entry into his curated series, this time about the incomparable James Brown. We're all about the headphones and earphones on Soundstage Solo. Over there, senior editor Jeffrey Morrison reviews the Campfire Audio Orbit True Wireless Earphones. Jeffrey also asks the intriguing question, what is the soundtrack to your life? in his monthly opinion article. Thanks again for watching, but before you sign off, remember that you never need to worry about writing down what I've told you. Simply go to the Soundstage portal site at soundstage.com and scroll past the current videos on the front panel to find live links to all the updates. And while you're there, make sure you're signed up for the SVS Prime Wireless Pro Draw that's coming up. See you next time.